Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on August 29th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. And we always start out here looking at our sun for the past two days. Images brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory, mixed with Daily Events Worldwide, still watching that very large plasma filament erecting from the surface of the sun in the outgoing position, mind you, having a look here at the last two days incoming, large plasma filament was here racing around and then whipped away. Big sunspot region associated in that region. Now turning in for an earth facing view. Outgoing, and this is where we're seeing that large plasma prominence stretching from the surface. Look at that thing spinning around. One of the largest solar tornadoes you'll ever witness in your life. Some amazing images here with Solar Dynamics today and daily events. Please don't forget to subscribe. Smash that like button. Having a look at multi-spectrum pointing out the last 48 hours of events. Plasma filaments are earth facing right now. And those are the dark lined regions. And as well, we've also got a coronal hole in the northern hemisphere, which is developing and turning in for an earth facing view 171 angstroms just another amazing way to see our sun for the day in all of its ferocity solar maximum which will be as a heightened solar cycle right now we're seeing eight sunspots earth facing having a look here at those sunspot regions in motion Big black sunspot regions turning away. And another one turning in, as I said. Pretty big sunspot region. Current space weather conditions were quiet. All quiet on the western front. I don't know if you guys know what movie that is from, but... Solar winds are coming in at 283 kilometers per second. That's a little low. Solar x-ray flux. Only still showing... Strong C-class solar flares from two days ago. It's been stagnant here in the C-class range. Geomagnetic activity. Still hopping up to a KP of 6 yesterday. ISPA space prediction spiral not showing any new coronal mass ejections. Thwarted our way. A little green circle there is Earth. And there's all the sun's cosmic energy heading our way. For the 2nd into the 3rd of September, that will be our next geomagnetic event or solar storm. Having a look at ISPWA space prediction spiral here, showing a faint CME taking off in the incoming region. That was from that large plasma filament that ripped away. Lasco 2 here, showing that CME taking off from the sun. This is the last two days of imagery brought to you by Soho. Now let's get to earthquakes the last 24 hours as we're pretty quiet there as well. Just over 300 earthquakes. Deep earthquakes here in Fiji. Deepest being the 543 kilometer depth earthquake yesterday. 5.1 earthquake here, notable Pacific Antarctic Ridge. And as well into the Philippines plate. Earthquake 4.3 here at Bonin Islands region, Japan. That's towards Nishinashima submarine volcano. Activity all around Taiwan. Afghanistan, pretty deep earthquake for the region. 224 kilometer depth. 5.4. That's the largest the last 24 hours other than the 6.1 earthquake that I reported yesterday. El Salvador. 4.5 here earthquake. Venezuela. Couple aftershocks through El Salvador. And that was last night. Notable earthquakes across the North American plate. We'll have to get to USGS. But largest being a 3.9 here. White City in New Mexico. USGS is reporting 325 earthquakes right now. The last 24 hours. Speaking of earthquakes. There is something that was just passed today. There's going to be an earthquake alert system set up for all of Canada from B.C. all the way to Quebec. Stay tuned to your local news stations for that. 
Having a look here, minus seismicity, Oklahoma, and as well, notable earthquake, Kansas. Earthquakes all around the California basin. Small swarm here. Grapevine, California. As well, a small swarm occurring in Nevada. Goldfield, Nevada. Seen about 30 earthquakes through the region here, but it's following an interesting line here with the fault lines heads up throughout this region over the next few days. All of this minor seismicity bubbling up. That's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Nothing major to report at Hawaii. Quick look here at the last seven days for shakers around the world. And as I said, uh, Canadian federal governments have now passed an earthquake warning system. You're going to get a 10 second earthquake warning system starting in British Columbia. As well, they said southeastern Ontario and Quebec. So they're expecting something soon, just as I am during this big shift. And we're watching it all unfold before our eyes, my friends and family. Please share this channel with your friends and family. Staying aware and prepared. This is the last seven days. If you live in an earthquake prone zone, be ready. Now let's have a look at our SO2 forecast, which is sulfur dioxide emissions brought to you by our 66 active and erupting volcanoes across the planet. There are no new volcanoes to report, but there's something fishy brewing in the Southern Hemisphere. Having a look here over the Pacific and all of the SO2 coming from the Iceland volcano. Igratis Bali. And look at it all now. This has totally encompassed the Northern Hemisphere. Even swirling back into Europe and then around again. And that volcano is showing no signs of stopping right now. Which is quite amazing. This is the sixth eruption in the past eight months. And it's one of the largest. The shift has begun, my friends and family. Heads up throughout these regions. Look at this big SO2 cloud coming from the South Pacific Ocean. Right underneath that low pressure system there. As well, notable SO2 coming out of the White Island, northern New Zealand. Now let's get to weather here as we're seeing some pretty big shifts there as well. High pressure ridge building in for most of eastern Canada the next couple days. But this low pressure system, which I noted last night, is going to rake up some severe weather over the next few days. Heads up, friends and family, and be ready because this is going to be a monstrous system. Look at the size of this low as it heads towards the Hudson Bay and just grinds around northern Quebec. And then starts heading towards Newfoundland and then back up. Just a very strange weather pattern right now. This large low pressure system, which came from Alaska, scooted down the eastern ridge of British Columbia. Extreme weather, snow through Alberta. Watch for all of this to continue over the next few days as it rakes across Canada. Lots of extreme weather all around the Gulf states here as well. Over the next few days, a couple notable low pressure systems here who could become a at least a strong hurricane in the long range forecast for Jamaica. Heads up, everybody. As well, a low pressure system that could develop into something in the North Atlantic, overlooking Europe. Great days ahead for you. All of this SO2, ash particulates, and as well, low pressure systems. Big waves of moisture heading into Ireland for the first of the month for September. And that low pressure system is going to grind around southward. Overlooking Southeast Asia, monsoon rains and very strong low pressure systems are affecting both ends of India right now. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected by extreme weather as things have really amped and ramped up over the last little while. Typhoon Gami, Typhoon Xinjiang. Typhoon Xinjiang has already killed over 30 to 40 people. So please, thoughts and prayers again going out to everybody affected. Look at this long range forecast. Typhoon heading for the 5th and the 6th heading for Taiwan. Taiwan. 
overlooking Australia and New Zealand. They've seen some pretty extreme weather events over this last little while too, especially South Australia and Tasmania. Look at those strong winds. Big low pressure system south of Australia has not moved or will not and is not forecast to. Waves of moisture coming through. Lots of heavy snow for higher elevations through New Zealand, southern parts of New Zealand. Watch for possible volcano eruption in northern parts of New Zealand, the White Island Volcano. Earthquakes down through the Kermadec Trench will be the trigger, so please, heads up. Interesting and noted here overlooking the Pacific Ocean. Typhoon that comes out of the West Pacific grinds its way straight across the Pacific. Long-range forecast shows it making landfall northern B.C., September 4th and 5th. Amazing days to be alive. Grateful to have you aboard. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily do. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.